hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll just show you the process how to make this type of like uh, text like line like that so it's too much easy to make this type of things so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and just take a new artboard which is just uh, any kind of size i'm just taking here 10 by 10 inch and color mode cmyk and hit the create button and after that you'll get a like canvas or artboard whatever you can tell and then just go to the line segment tool and press the shade button and hold it and draw a line like after that make the stroke thickness like 5 that's good go to the effects and distort and transform from here zigzag and after that you will get a zigzag window and setup and then click over here the preview options and you can change up the size and other stuff so i'll make like that and make it smooth you'll get the round type line over there and you can make it like line and this two percent is good or one percent that's fine okay and then hit ok button and after that just copy this one by pressing alter button and just draw it in a lower side and press the shift button and hold it and like that and then select these two things go to the object and blend options and make the blend like that and if you want to make the blend size or if you want to increase the line size a line amount again go to the object and then blend and blend options from here just go to the specified setup and preview mode on and just you can increase the lines and decrease the lines so i'm just making increase the lines and hit ok so after that go to the text tool write down some text make the size increase of the font and i'm using here a font which is i'll provide you in my video description for the download link and i'm just writing over here with whatever you can tell or whatever you can write over here and just i'll make the size bigger and place it over here that's good and select all the stuffs and go to the object and expand appearances and then again go to the object and expand this one and hit the ok button Object and expand and hit ok and then select all the things and make sure that the write up layer in the upper side of the wave if you don't be sure please just press ctrl shift and third bracket closing go to the pathfinder and just here the outline so after that just ungroup this one right press and ungroup that and select all the waves or all the lines like that press the shift button and hold it and you can select all the lines and stops make sure that the outline or the straight line won't be selected and just make sure that all the line is select and like that and then go to the stroke options and round the corner and round the shapes increase the stroke size yes you are getting like that that's good and then select other lines select all the stuff like that press i from the keyboard and just make a line like that uh, just one straight line is selected before that you have to group it out and then just select this straight line and delete that so select this portion and you can just move it out from here and all the things you can delete that that's good and now you can just give the color or stroke or whatever you can tell take a square shape that is the 10 inch by 10 inch and make it like black or like yellow or ash color that's good and send back in a last layer and just align with the artboard like that 
and select these things you can change the stroke it will change and you can make it bigger and you can change the stroke thickness or increase the stroke thickness that's good so again i will just showing you the process the same thing so take a straight line like that make the white color that's good and stroke thickness that's five and after that go to the effects and from here distort and transform and zigzag turn on the preview mode and you can adjust the zigzag line like that and you can make it smooth or you can make it zigzag as well and hit the ok button so press the alter button and drag it and take it like that and align it in a proper way so select all the things and align it in the selections and like that and after that go to the object and blend options make the blend like that and again object and blend options and blend options and from here the specified steps and you can increase the steps like that so that's good and that's good and now write down something i'm just writing over here black and place over here and select all the things make sure that the letter is upper side of the layer select all the things object expand the appearances and object and expand again and hit ok and then so make sure that the object or the text is again in expand mode and then select all the things and outline like that okay you are getting the zigzag line over here and now just go to the inside of the layers and select all the lines from here and here as well so like this and like this and select this line this line just make sure that all the line is selected here is small line like this and here as well and here here and here now just go to the stroke options and make it round and just round joining and increase the size which is stroke size that's good and then select this these and other lines and make sure that all the line is selected that's good and i'll take it from here and i'll delete these things are all the steps so I'm taking this one from here and again go to the shape tool and rectangle tool make a rectangle like that and make it black and I'll give the gradient color from here so select this gradient and you can choose it up and make sure that that is the stroke color okay and fill color just up turn off and stroke color i will work with it and make sure this the black the zigzag thing is upper side of this so you're getting the creative text with that and you can write down or you can make it in your own design or like a ad type things whatever you can do so select things these things and make the alignment in the middle that's good so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment in my video comment section and if you want to get the resource download link like fonts and other stuff please check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye